For those of you who are being asked to include an outline, whether it's for a written text or maybe even a presentation, I want to give you some suggestions about how to create a three-level outline. So here we have an example of an outline, and I'm going to convert this using Microsoft, uh, the outline feature in Microsoft Word. Now, in this case, you could use the headings, the heading styles that are provided in Microsoft <clears throat> Word. And if you do that, then they should appear, those headings should appear here in the, in the navigational pane. And this is, I think, useful when you have a really long document, whether it's an outline or if you're just drafting a long, let's say, a thesis paper, a five, 6,000 word or more thesis paper where maybe you have sections, you have headings then it, I think, makes perfect sense to create these heading styles, headings one, two, and perhaps headings, uh, heading three, so that you could see at a glance in outline form in the navigational pane, uh, the content. You could jump around uh, to the different sections. But for this purpose, I think I'm going to change all the text to normal and use the outline feature. And again, clean this up as it appears, not changing any information, but just change the format and make it look a little bit more like, like an outline with indentations. So here in this case, I'm going to change this to normal text. And it looks like the fonts were changed. So I'm just going to change, and you can choose one of the font styles. I'm going to change, change it to Calibri, you could change it to Arial, um, but we'll leave it at Calibri. And we're going to make sure that all of the text is black. All right, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose, I like Roman numerals, all right, so as a level one. So I'm going to change this to a level one. And then move these points to a level two. Now, notice what I'm doing here. I'm basically just backspacing and hitting the enter key. And any time that you create an outline in Microsoft Word, for example, if I want a subpoint of statistics, I could hit the enter key and tab. Enter key, and then it automatically maintains the same level or the same indentation. Now, if I want to outdent, there's a button up here. This is this is allows you to what well, says decrease indent. But if you want to outdent, you click here. If you want to indent, you can use these two icons to do that. Um, but if you're creating indents or indentations, you can use the tab to automatically do that from your keyboard. All right, so I'm going to remove this. And it looks like we have subpoints under statistics of air pollution. So what I would do is I would just backspace until I go to the last line and then tab. What I do is I hit enter, tab. And then I have point number two. And notice what it's doing automatically. It has lowercase Roman numerals. It has letters, lowercase letters, and then Roman numerals. This is by default. This is... Microsoft um, doing this automatically, and it's fairly straightforward. Now, you can go in and be fancy if you want and change these at any point, but for most cases, for what we're trying to do, this is perfectly fine. And notice now we have a level one here, causes of air pollution. Then we have two level two points. And then here we have, under the second level two point, we have four points that are now considered level three. All right, now we can continue on and do the same. Now here, notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to backspace all the way to the last point, and then I'm going to outdent two times, and that will take me back two levels to a level one which takes me to the next point. Now, I just to double check to make sure I'm correct here, this is the original. So this is the second point, consequences. Consequences, okay. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Backspace, tab, backspace, tab, oops. And backspace, tab. Now under environment, it looks like there are six points that apply to environment, or at least that's what this means. And we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second, but let me finish here with the formatting. Backspace, backspace, and then enter. All right, so now we have our environment. Now our next point, solutions. So again, I'll do the same thing. And we're going to outdent twice. This is the third point. And then we have our next sub point. This is a level two. This is a level two. And then we have five points under, under point number two. All right, now let's take a look at what we have here. Okay, this is now, it looks, I think, a little bit more presentable in the sense that it's very easy to distinguish between level one heading, a level two heading, which are these. These are all level twos. These are level twos. And then level threes. Now, looking at this example, what I would suggest to try to do is to extend to a level three for each of the level two points that you provide. So for example, in this, in this case, right, without even digging into the reading and, and checking out these citations, what this means, the way that it's being presented, is that you've got examples for this point, statistics on air pollution, but there are no examples of what air pollution is, or at least there are no specific details about what pollution is. So what I would suggest trying to do is to extend out to a level three heading for each of the level two points. If you're gonna have a level two point, try to have at least two examples of whatever point that is. Same way with these. If you're gonna have environment, you've got a lot of examples, maybe have fewer examples for, uh, for that apply to the environment, maybe have a couple of examples for diseases in humans, a couple of examples for harsh weather, as an example. Same way with Solutions. Maybe you have two or three examples of solutions that relate to organizations in Mexico. This is the idea. And in this particular example, perhaps you can remove the number of details or examples that you have for, for some of these, okay, so that you could spend more time with examples of the other two points that you have. Okay, this is the idea with the outline because it, it allows us to look at a glance the points and subpoints and, and even the examples go, reaching out, going out to a level three heading to see what kind of examples relate to what kind of subpoints and more general points at a level one. This is the idea. And then when you begin writing your essay, for example, if you're going to write an essay, then you're going to respect the same order. You're going to begin with causes of air pollution, and this is going to be your first thing that you discuss. And you're going to have certain examples. Um, and here you have pretty much the next concept that you're going to talk about. Now, we're not talking about, at this point, paragraphs. We don't know um, necessarily from looking at this outline how the paragraphs are going to be developed. That's another decision. That's another way of looking at taking a look at this outline and then figuring out, okay, I need to say this. Do I need one paragraph or two paragraphs? How am I going to 
present these examples. But the idea here is that you have examples or facts or statistics, examples that are included as a level three. Now, the last thing I'll say here is uh, relates to citations. Now, for the purposes of an outline, and this is going to depend on your instructor, but for, for my class, really the what I would rather see here are shorter phrases, right? There, you can develop an outline, you can do a sentence outline, which would mean that every heading, regardless of the level, is a complete sentence. But for our purposes, what I'm asking everyone to do is to consider key phrases, key words or phrases for all levels, level one, level two, and level three, just include a phrase, probably no more than three to four word phrases at the most. Just capture the main idea. Now, these ideas, of course, these ideas need to be more specific than these ideas in level two. Level two ideas that are in phrases, two to three, maybe four word phrases, are going to be more specific than this level one. So even though they're still short words or phrases, they still need to represent, in some cases, if you're extending out to a level three, they still need to share a very specific idea. They need to articulate a, an ex, a specific idea. So if you want to include the citation in, in the idea, that's fine, but I would, in this case, try to summarize or just list out a phrase. Again, we're not looking for a complete sentence in the outline. Of course, when you write your draft, it's all about complete sentences, trying to mix simple compound and complex sentences. But for the outline, what I would suggest doing is just use phrases for, um, for, the, for each level. Now, in some cases, you might have examples like this, a list of examples. And so maybe you don't need to extend out all of the examples. Just list out a few examples. And then whenever you're writing, you can include those. Right? You can include those. It just depends on how many examples you need to list out to get your point across. And I would, you know, th talking about a list, I would be very selective in when you present lists throughout your text. Try not to overuse lists. You know, and what I mean by that is if every paragraph, if every body paragraph has two or three sentences that are lists of information, then it tends to get, you're, you tend to share too much information. In this example, let's give an, an example, the environment, uh, let's say you have cardiovascular problems. Then maybe you talk about specific examples of cardi cardiovascular problems. And, and you talk about just that one, that one item. Or maybe you just talk about asthma attacks. Or maybe you just talk about allergies. Or maybe it's just allergies and asthma, if those two are related. And you dig deeper into those examples. So just be careful with making lists. And it's okay to use lists in some cases, but again, you want to try to speak in greater detail about fewer things. You want to try to speak about maybe why something happens, what, when, why, where, how, that this example of allergies relates back to the environment as it, back, as it relates back to a consequence or a, a cause and effect, basically. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. When you're developing your outline, try to keep, maintain a three-level outline. I would use Microsoft Word as I've done, as I've shown here, three levels. And I don't think it's necessary to use uh, the heading styles. I would just use normal fonts, a normal font style, and set up your outline 
based on how I'm showing here, making sure that you extend out to a level three for each of the level two headings that you're providing in your outline. So when you guys are finished, if you want me to look at your outline and provide any uh, feedback, make sure you're reaching out to me and be happy to take a look at it.